Hi, welcome back. I'm Professor Ronald Vincent M. Santiago, and this day we'll be discussing about Module 11, about Case 1, faults in an unloaded generator considering the single line to ground fault. First, we need to discuss the different types of fault. Shunt fault and the series fault. What is a shunt fault? Unbalance between paces or between pace and ground. And this uh, can either be of a single line to ground fault, a line to line fault, a double line to ground fault, and a three pace fault. For series fault, these are unbalanced in the impedances which does not involve neutral or ground or any in connection between paces. So this can either be one line open or two lines open. Now, as shown in this uh, figure, this is illustrates the different types of fault. Single line to ground, line to line, double line to ground, and three-phase fault. And uh, similarly for the series fault, one line open and two lines open. Now, the shunt fault point. As I mentioned in our previous module, the system is assumed to be balanced with regards to the impedances, except at one point called the fault point, as shown in the diagram. The sequence networks, as mentioned in our previous modules, the system can be represented by an equivalent uh, Thevenin, representing a it's an equivalent uh, circuit from the faulted point to the neutral or to the reference bus. Now, in this uh, diagram, this illustrates the positive sequence, the negative sequence, and the zero sequence networks, which had been uh, discussed in the previous modules. Now, for single line to ground fault, assuming the fault is in phase A. So, in this diagram, we have line A is faulted to an impedance say F. IB, the current flowing to line B, is zero, since uh, it is not under fault condition. Likewise, uh, for line C, IC is equal to zero. So, denoting the boundary conditions, VA, since uh, line A or phase A is uh, faulted to the ground, VA now is equal to IA multiplied by CF, the fault impedance. And uh, IB and IC are both equal to zero. So this will be our initial boundary conditions. Now, from uh, the second equation, wherein IB is equal to zero, we can now get this uh, sequence uh, currents of this uh, faulted point. So IA0, IA1, IA2 can now be determined using our equation equal to one third multiplied by the inverse of the A matrix multiplied by the phase currents, IA, IB, and IC. Now since IB and IC are both zero, from there we can uh, substitute uh, zero in that uh, matrix equation. So which means that IA0, IA1, and IA2 are all equal, equal to one-third multiplied by IA. So from that uh, equation, the first equation, BA equal to CF multiplied by IA, we can uh, get now BA0 plus BA1 plus BA2, which is the uh, sequence uh, components of the voltage BA, equal to CF multiplied by IA0 plus IA1 plus IA2. Or we can have as BA0 plus BA1 plus BA2 equal to twice the value of the fault impedance and the zero sequence current IA. Now, in the next slide, so this represents the sequence network interconnection of the three sequence networks, considering that IA0, IA1, and IA2 are equal. So, Having known the Thevenin equivalent of these uh, sequence networks, positive, negative, and zero se sequence networks, how are they interconnected? Based on the result, IA0, IA1, IA2 are both 
equal or all these are equal, we can say that the interconnection will be in series. So from there, the sequence fault currents IA0 equal to IA1 equal to IA2 is equal to the Thevenin voltage divided by the sum of the sequence impedances, including the twice the value of the fault impedance. So BTH over J0 plus A1 plus A2 plus 3 CF. So that ends our module number 11. So see you in the next module.